I recommended that people go ahead and start using the adaptive testing. And the purpose of this assignment is for you to assess your strengths and more importantly to identify your weaknesses. So before we begin, you have to ask yourself, am I prepared? Have I looked over the material? Do I know it well enough to up, sit down and take a computer adaptive test on the subject that will challenge me? Once you have met that requirement, log into our testing center and then click right here where it says adaptive testing. Now, before you click on that, anyone that was interested in that money back guarantee, on your very first page it says watch videos. Interested in some videos and there are the three videos that you have to click and play. Also directly underneath this tab is a uh, is the learner assessment tools that only take about 15 20 minutes to fill out for money back guarantee that's not asking too much now when you click on that button this is what comes up it says adaptive testing for the class and there are no tests associated with this class as of yet well, that's okay because you haven't taken the adaptive test and it adapts to you. So what do you do? Well, to get started, you have to click on that button right there. Now what? Well, there are four drop-down boxes, but some of them are already defaults. For example, in the top left corner, it says select a test type. Now, standard will keep going until it has the computer results that it needs, whether it can identify it in 25 or in 110 questions, it will keep going until it gets the results. Whereas the timed, it's 30 minutes. Now it might figure out your grade in 10 minutes or 15, but you signed up for a 30 minute timed test. So it will give you 30 minutes of test questions. Now let's go ahead and look to the right. That's where it says select a curriculum. I selected the most up-to-date, which is National Registry 2015. You, it's a default, leave it at that. Same thing with select a question bank, it's already preset. The one that you can change, and I want you to change, is select a module. The automatic default is a comprehensive test, but I want you to select the agreed upon module. So when you click on that, another drop box element will, fall, will come up. You select the other topic and you press the start button, start test button, and good luck. You'll sit down and you'll take the test. And upon completion, you will test until they get results or your 30 minutes has lapsed and then you will get your results. Well, what does this mean? Well, you can click on the video link that is directly above your statement, but I see that I received a color of green. Green is good, or green is great. Yellow is good. Orange is you need help in that category, and red means you have a lot of work ahead, but it's not impossible. But scroll down, and you will see a little chart that you can click. For example, cardiology, the arrow is sideways. If you click and push it down, it shows you, it breaks down that topic into multiple areas. And you can identify where you did well and where you might need help. So let's say hypothetically, I get an orange in my stroke-like symptoms. That means that out of the entire area of cardiology, which associates with chest pain, CPR, uh, uh, shock, as well as stroke and hypertension, it will identify that weakness and you can, you can adjust your study habits to review that topic and turn all of your weaknesses into strengths. Best of luck.